Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Tin. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my updated soap press routine. So first, I went in with the deep conditioner. You can use whatever deep conditioner you prefer. For me, I just end up mixing mayo with some of my favorite oils. You can really make whatever hair mask you prefer. You can just go get one at the store. Once I mixed all that up together, it came out with this consistency. I also did an apple cider vinegar rinse. I'm just gonna start with damp hair, getting into the blow drying and straightening. Get straight to the point. All right, so first, after I get out of the shower, I just make sure I get all the conditioner out of my hair and I wash it all out. Make sure there's nothing in your hair because you don't want it to be too greasy or too oily, which that's pretty much the same thing. Section it off into sections so that I can get ready to blow dry. I'm gonna start on this side and then I'm just going to put this side up as I blow dry this side. And before I get into blow drying, of course, I'm gonna go in and spray my heat protectant. I'm gonna be using the keratin heat protectant by Tresemme and I'm going to get it in there pretty good. Then I'm gonna go in with argan oil and Morocco hair oil. I got this recently. I just want, I'm just using this so that when I blow dry my hair, it comes out pretty shiny. I'm just gonna spray it in my hand because it's kind of hard to spray. Not too much, I did like four sprays. I'm just waving it through my hair. I know they say you shouldn't put oil in your hair before you start straightening and stuff, but this is a very light oil and I did not put that much. So now I'm just gonna use this brush. I recently got this brush um, from Curls Queen. Y'all can check out that video of me doing my curly extensions if you wanna see how I put them on my face. But I'm just gonna go on with this brush to start blow drying. I think I'm gonna section this into another part as well because it's kind of thick and I wanna be able to really like you know and i'm also going to detangle it it's already detangled i detangled it in the shower but just to make sure the brush runs smoothly through i'm just going to get it in position and i'm going to blow dry down already starting to bend from like the heat hot mess i'm just going to do the same thing i did to this section to this next section and the other section on the side of my head and then i'll come back to you guys when i get to the top okay i forgot to say once i finish with this side or really once i finish with blow drying any section i'm gonna go in with oh my gosh this looks crazy it's the damage remedy miracle coconut oil um, I just put a little bit like that much and I just rake it through. Okay, now I'm on to the top part of my head. So to avoid having a part, because I'm starting to like my hair when it doesn't have a part, I'm going to be blow drying down. And I won't be like sectioning it into two parts like how I did this. It'll just be all one part. Like just like this. I don't know if that makes sense. But basically part it like this. Blow dry it like this. Even when I flat iron, it will be like this. Okay, yeah. Again, going back in with the trust me. Keep the it. I did switch my brush because that other brush, it just I was I felt like I was messing it up too much. Like you see how like this is kind of melted already? That brush looks worse. So I was like, let me just not mess this brush all the way up. I'm just this brush. This is like the run ain't out, but I'm the type of runner fade. When your diamonds hit like this, you don't never see the shade. Got the key to my city, they gave me a holiday, bitch. All kind of shit. Let me pull my diamond test out, you bitch, you kind of free. Better keep my name up out of mouth. They been trying. If it's deep, then let me know. Baby, why you hiding it?
Making sure the DJ know what I want him to play. I be on the top spot. Last bit of miracle oil. All right, now that we're done with blow drying, we're gonna get into the straightening part, which is the part that takes for freaking ever. First, I'm gonna get all my stuff situated. I'm gonna come back once I'm ready to start lettering. As you can see, I have my hair parted already. I'm starting with the two back sections. So I was gonna use this comb, cause usually, you know, you do the chasing method with the comb and that would have still been good. But I just feel like a bristle brush just does it even better. So I'm gonna go like this. I pull it down a little bit just for my roots and then I hit it about like five times. Then I let that go. And then I'll go back over, get my bigger flatter, go over. I try to go over once if I have to twice or three times, but I try to only go over once. So first I'm going to go in with my mini flat iron. I think it's pretty heated up by now. Nice and straight. I'm gonna go over to this side, do the same thing. I'm gonna need a tighter so tighter because this is all on my head. Like, what the heck? Yeah, so I just went in with that first one. It's looking very nice and silky. Okay.
just calm the fuck down because I know that I'm getting irritated. Y'all can see it. Like, actually, super cute. I think bangs are probably meant for me. Take a full trip. Uh -huh. I'm about to take some pictures real quick. Yeah. Pop to see you guys soon. See you guys soon. Yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Um, and I hope you like the hair. Okay, y'all, for real. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch up on my earlier videos. I've been posting every day December so far. It's only December 4th, but um, I've been posting every day. Um, and hopefully I keep this going. So stay tuned with me and love you guys. Stay blessed. It's cuffing season and all the boys be mean and I need a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a mm -mm -mm -mm. That's enough.